Uh, tide's going out, just let it carry me out a bit. I'll start paddling in a sec. Uh, I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick it up, but there's like pretty, like super clear skies today. It's cold as well, man, far out. It's enough to sort of make me not want to hop out <laughs> in a nice warm car. So beautiful crescent moon, nice orange sunrise and super clear. So the light's coming out a little bit earlier than it has been, which is nice because there's no cloud cover. So we're doing King's Cliff, we're going for a snapper. Truth be known, this is probably my third attempt at King's Cliff with nothing to show for it, so this will be the third. And I was really dying to get a, uh, a snapper. I did like a snapper on like the open fire. We got a, like a new little mini fire pit for the back. And uh, I just am dying to sort of get another snapper on it because I, I had one and I cooked it and uh, I got home late from work. Couldn't be bothered sort of filming and I thought, oh, this would be a sweet catch and cook. Just looks so nice and fresh. And in the end, we've got nothing to show for it. Oh, look, is that a dog? Yeah, I see some dogs swimming out there. But, uh, oh, look, he's turning around. <laughs> look, going for a swim. Um, but, yeah. Ooh, I don't want to get wet here. I really don't want to get wet, so we're going to take this a bit seriously. But, yeah, so hopefully we can get a snap. I haven't been having much, like, trout getting them. Haven't been fishing a lot either. It's sort of been pretty, uh, pretty... Few and far between the trips. I have had a few goes, but not many. All right, let's get through these waves, and then we'll continue to annoy the camera. Okay, we're through the waves. We were past the sort of unpredictable bomby section and uh, we're getting rigged up. So, I've uh, just brought snapper gear, no live bait, which is purely plastics. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if we get one because, yeah, like I said, haven't been having much luck. Hey, no boat, there's only one boat I saw sort of leave from the creek mouth this morning which is nice so hopefully the uh, spot won't have boats crawling all over it drop an anchor so it will be one less thing to worry about uh, okay Whew. slight splash coming through the creek is enough to make me pretty cold mm, that water's like ice water so we're gonna go one dangly kind of one That'll do nicely. And one fast dropping jerk shaddy one. My two favorite colors. If I can't catch anything on these, I'm not gonna catch anything. it's gonna be a snapper took its time I tell you what I've been here for quite a while oh, man just want to get this line out of the way first I'll tell you what he got me by surprise I wasn't expecting to get it <laughs> I'd give it up God I hope it's a snap okay. all I need to do is get this thing out of the way Got him up off the reef, so I'm not too worried. I 
What's it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Okay. A couple of decent tugs on him. Please be a snapper. We need this snapper for dinner. Alright. So, we have a. It is a snap and it's a nice one. It's a nice one. He's taking the big plastic. Ooh, that is a good snapper. Well, I'll just put him in and we'll deal with him in a sec. Alright. We did it! Thank God for that! <laughs> Alright. So, I put the big plastic on in the end. A 7 inch uh, jerk shad. Yeah. Now, I don't want to lose this guy. But I am going to get him out to have a look at him. Because I, I fall into the trap of never actually getting a nice shot of the fish. He's a nice snapper as well, look at that. Perfect size. Oh look, you'll enjoy that. Steve from Key West, it's always, <laughs> what does he say? Uh, happy days for a few freaks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a great snapper. I'm very happy with that. And that means he's big enough to uh, put on the the barbecue for the whole family and my mother-in-law and everyone will come around yeah look at that there's a uh, snapper semen leaking out all over me <laughs> get this uh, out oh look at that so he's just wolfed down the whole uh, the whole gulp all right you know what I think we can use that again all right I'll uh, turn this camera off and put him out of his misery for you All right, and I'm excited because it means there is actually fish here. <laughs> so many days without any results. Well, only two days without any results, but when you're fishing, when you can only go fishing once or twice a week, you really need to make those days count. And uh, they just haven't been producing, which feels like forever. I'm gonna sort of head back up to close to where I was. I didn't mark it, so. But look, look, look at the structure here. So some good ground. And I think it was just before I got to the ride. So let's see if we can have another crack at that. <laughs> look at this turtle. I'm going to pack it as soon as he realizes I'm right behind him. <laughs> Boy, there he goes. <laughs> just realized. Normally they're sort of facing up. That poor guy was just, he just happened to come up facing the wrong direction. All right. So, packing it up and going home. <laughs> so, not not hugely productive in one way, but still very satisfying in another. I got I've got dinner. I uh, geez, look at that, another turtle. That's got to be like maybe the twelfth turtle I've seen today. Turtle watch. They just keep popping up. Geez, there's heaps of them. What's going on? Why are there so many of you all hanging around? Well, I guess it's a good thing, but uh, yeah, so packing it up, head in now, <laughs> look at him, he's just cruising, no, he's not even worried about taking off, he's pretty big, seen bigger, but he's pretty big, um, yeah, go home, get nice and warm, have a warm shower, get to wash up everything quickly and not have to be in too much of a rush, I don't want to have to rush too much to get back because i got to get to work, get this snapper video sorted and we'll, yeah, check back in soon. <laughs> Thank you.
Mm. Try and turn my uh, rustic snapper on the fire's uh, hot coals into a garden party. <laughs> I won't complain about that though. Okay, we just get this going. And then once we got the fire going, then we can get the filleting going. <laughs> or not filleting, but uh, just gutting in general. Alright, so fire's going. I guess I better go in and uh, sort of deal with this snapper. I guess I get uh, on the kayak, I get really lazy and I couldn't be bothered scaling or anything. And then I ended up always just filleting. But uh, what I really should have done is scaled it there because in the end we're going to end up putting it on the fire. So, uh, oh, there's too many kids in there. So, yeah, we're going to put it on the fire. So, I probably should have uh, scaled it and gutted it there. But we can deal with that. We'll have to do it in the sink. So, Never really fun gutting fish at home. So much easier when you're on the boat and you can just chuck everything over the side. But we'll, uh, we'll quickly deal with that and then we'll uh, move on to the next stage. <laughs> ah, all right. Okay, we've got the uh, snapper scaled and gutted. We'll just whack that down there for now. I'm gonna check on the fire. So I went and put a little bit more wood on. Hot coals is what we want. And that's what we're getting. But uh, I think I'll still chuck some more on, get heaps of coals going so we don't have to muck around. And then I guess we should probably put one of these bad boys on as well. That's better. I think that should do us as well. So fire's going and it's looking good. So I guess all we're gonna do is we're just gonna score it and then just salt and pepper and oil it and that's it. I don't really wanna do anything more to it because I just want like nice clean fish. I'd much prefer it, especially when you're doing it on like hot coals. You just get that coal flavor. And the last thing you wanna do is over flavor it with everything, like really, really pungent things. So uh, gonna chuck some corn in the fire which has just been delivered and uh, scored, oil, salt and pepper, and then straight on the hot coals. I might just put a grill over it. And then once that's done, I might just do something like, like a hot chili oil with maybe some uh, like cumin in it. And then we'll just pour that on hot once they've sort of got their flesh. And that's it, like just really simple, really tasty. And just let the fire sort of be the, the highlight of the whole dish. Literally just some nice big cuts down the sides just to get some of the, the salt and pepper and seasoning down into the flesh. But uh, you know, it's really not, certainly not anything over the top. Should we do both sides? Salt and pepper. And a little oil. We can just rub it in. Snapper's coming along nicely. 
Just like a nice black crust on the outside, but inside that flesh will be really nice and juicy. Just flipped it, uh, and I guess like I was just gonna do like maybe a butter and some chili, like kind of uh, sauce or oil, just to, just to pour on top at the end. And that's it, so because all those nice smoky flavors coming through, it's getting like a good smoke. So, and the flames have died almost right down now, so the longer it sits there just smoky, the better. We just whip up like just a little bit of a, like a pan butter, and then we just tip that on the top, and then we're gonna be serving dinner, so yeah. So that's the snapper. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you get a chance to do one on the fire, on the coals. Sort of just a slow smoked coal. And uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs>